Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement of Trophy Guide and this time we are getting it all in Mark Marquez or just Maquette. This is a really lovely puzzle game developed by Graceful Decay published by my personal favourite publisher, Annapurna Interactive and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 but has been included with Xbox Game Pass from day one so love it, live it, laugh it. Nah, never mind, that's chavy. So, um, so remember my Manifold Garden Guide, where it's basically a whole bunch of Escher-esque puzzles to mess with your mind? Well, how about more of the same, Mia? Yes, we have some incredibly mind-bending puzzles Escher-esque to solve. The further in you get, you're massive. The further out you get, you're a teensy tiny person. You will see exactly what I mean in just a mo. Now, as for achievements, you'll get at least one for completing every level, of which there are seven. A few miscellaneous ones scattered in on each level, but the main biggies are, yes, speed bloody runs on every level again. Eh. Now, personally, I didn't find them too bad, especially since you can pause the game and it doesn't add to the timer, but still. A beautiful game like this deserves to be looked at rather than sped through. Ah, well, it must be done. All in all, you're looking around one and a half to two hours to get this done, so with that being said then... Let's do it. Now, what you're immediately going to do when you press any button here, hold at the B button to skip the first cutscene and immediately go on your way. This is the first level, the gardens. So hold at the B button. That will skip the cutscene and we can continue forward. Head to the left. So basically, this, like I said, is the first level. It's pretty much just a linear path as we head left again. But the timing is quite strict on this. You have to complete this in under three minutes. Um, so that's why... As I said, as soon as you see any cutscenes, just hold the B button to skip any cutscenes. Press the X button to interact with things. You will get your first achievement here called Open Sesame. Or is it Open Sesame? I don't know, people got too angry about that. Continue on forward. Head down the steppy steps. And take a left. Now, I don't want you to feel, like, really pressured, like, oh crap, I gotta, you know... It's a really lovely, lovely game, so even if you do the level first, and then, you know, once you get used to it, maybe uh, try it again, then that would be fantastic. Uh, so again, just continue on. Now, on the PlayStation, I'll just quickly add here, on the PlayStation, when it first came out, you would have had to have made a manual save because there was no chapter select, but I, I believe the devs have now updated it because in the Xbox version, at least, there is now chapter select, so any time that you mess up or you want to go for it again, you can simply press start, go to chapter select, select the chapter you want, and go again. So that makes life a lot easier. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's pretty much all i got to say. You can't actually sprint or jog or anything, but you can cut corners if you want, because you are cool. We're so cool cutting corners, man. So, yeah, continue on, continue on. Like I said, this is sort of just how the game plays. I mean, in terms of puzzles and stuff, there's not too many throughout the game. But, uh, yeah, the whole Escher-esque stuff may mess with your brain a little later on. For now, just continue on up the old wooden piers. And then from here, we're going to take a right. We're going to pick up the key here with the X button. You need to aim your camera with the right stick at it and then press the X button there. Turn around. Now, when you get close to the locked key, you've got to press the B button. That will basically put the... Uh, whatever item you're holding out. So if you want to drop something, you need to press the B button twice. That caught me out a couple of times, especially on the next level. So once that opens up, make sure to grab the key again by pressing the X button. Press the B button to hold it out in front of you, and that will open that one up. And then quickly... Well, qu quickly walk in front of you, apparently. You think, oh, I'm in a bit... <laughs> I'm on a speed run. Bit, bit, <laughs> better do a little bit of a jog. Nah, let's just walk slowly. You son of a... Anyway, once you get here, once again, the cutscene will begin, so just hold the B button as many times as you can, and hopefully you will then get the TLDR Gardens for completing the gardens in under three minutes. You will, whether you... Whether, of course, this is your second time playing through the level, that's what I would do personally. Play through the level once, just to know where you're going, and then hopefully you'll have a bit more f familiarity the next time around. If not, then obviously you can just pause the game see what I do for a couple of turns and then unpause, like I said, pausing the timer stops the timer. So continue on forward and we're going to press the B button to skip the cutscene here. Turn around and go into the dome. This is the dome. This is the majority of our game. 
Uh, we're going to jump up here. Now press the X button to hold the dice, and then you need to press the B button twice in order to put it in that little corner. That should get you the achievement called Size Manipulator. Turn around, and we're going to drop down here, go through the gap, pick up the bridge with the X button, and then open, and then hit the X button again on the lever. That will get us starting going up. Uh, continue on forward. And then if we have a look on the left-hand side here, there we go, just by the two white towers, you need to press the left bumper and right bumper to get the bridge straight. And then you've got to put it sort of in the middle as it, sort of the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if we turn to the right from where we are, there we go, if we go through, we can see there is the bridge that we have just put down. Ooh, all eshery. So continue on forward and head up the lift. By the way, we are actually going for a missable achievement first as we hold the B button just to get through that. Pick up the golden ticket and straight in front of you is the uh, lever. I do apologize if this is going quite a bit quickly here. Um, feel free, of course, to slow the video down, but drop the golden ticket just outside on the main court and then you can pick it up. Turn around and then press the B button to hold it out in front of you really, really far like you've got, you know, Slender Man arms or something. That'll open up the way. Once you get in here, then, we are going to hold the B button to skip the cutscene. From here, we'll turn around. So this is now where we're going to get the breakout achievement, which is one of the missable achievements. So a couple of times, we'll get a missable achievement, and then we'll just replay to do the speed run. Interact with that small uh, lever right there, and then go to the back of this carnival area. And if we head to the end, we can interact with this thing. That'll open up the key. It's a cutscene again, so make sure to press the B button. Um, again, just because of the speed runs, it's it's a bit of a pain in the uh, bundersnatch, really. Uh, why you're having to go so fast. But again, fe please feel free to just um, pop the speed down if you're having trouble keeping up. Right, so from here then, what we are going to do with this particular key that we've got, uh, we'll head down into the sort of main dome area, and then See, just in the corner right here, what we need to do now is make a little bit of a ramp. So, if you're having trouble, of course, you just need to maybe twiggle it about. Again, don't worry about the speedrun too much, because we are going to replay the chapter. But there we go, you've seen the key that we just put down. So, climb up. And once we are out of here, you will get the breakout achievement. Now, again, before, on the earlier PlayStation days, you were able to climb a couple of bushes and... Just jump straight out, which saves a good couple of minutes, but obviously that got patched or whatever. So go down to chapters, go to the maquette. So we will do this again. Now this is speed run time. So again, feel free, as I said, to put the video down to slow or just wait, wait and see a couple of things that I do and then go again and then keep pausing it. So first things first then, now let's go straight in front of us to the blue doors. Hold the B button to skip L cutscenery. Turn back around, head into El Domo, El Domo Simpson. And if we just jump up onto the maquette here, we are going to put this uh, red block onto the sort of red square in the corner as much as we can. Turn around and go straight through. And then we're going to drop down again and go through the open door. Let's pick up the bridge and then hit the X button on the lever so we can go up, 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 up. Right, straight in front of you then, we are now going to put the bridge in a place, just by the two towers, two white towers here. So again, be careful, but kind of be quick. So use the left bumper and right bumper to move it, and then put it in the middle, so you make yourself a nice little toasty, cozy bridge. Turn to the right again. That's the second time that mashed me up, actually. Uh, so <laughs> the second, uh, yeah, it's the second time. So off over the bridge we go, and then interact with the lever again. Hold the B button, of course, to skip the cutscene, and then we can grab the Willy Wonkers, Willy Winkers, Willy Wankers golden ticket. Yeah, I said it. Leave it down, and then remember to leave the golden ticket outside of the dome into the main area. Now we can go into the, the sort of main bit here and go and grab the ticket, turn to the right, hold the B button to take it out, <laughs> and then uh, get your Slenderman arms to push that in. Again, it's going to be another cutscene as we enter the new area, so... Hold the B button. Now from here, what we're going to do, we, again, we're just going to do the same thing we've done last time. So we need to uh, go back, hit the switch, the tiny little switch. And then head to the back of the area once again. We're going to be grabbing the key. 
obviously only this time we're going to be using it to open a door, which is very kind of us, isn't it? There we go, grab the key, turn back around. And then for some reason decided to take the long way around. We ain't got time for the long way around today, damn it. Uh, so go up and sort of head to the right. I was going to say go up, but just head to the right. Uh, obviously remember to press the B button. Now if it doesn't go up, it means you're too close in, so just back out a bit. Once it opens up, nah, nah, it's my face. Ah! ah, no it's not, it's something a lot prettier than that. So anyway, go forward, make sure to pick up the key again, go back into the ma uh, maquette bit. And with this new area, make sure you need, we, ugh, we need to build a bridge. So just make sure that it's nice and sort of in the middle. Or, it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's good enough for you to cross over. Once we have crossed over, another cutscene is going to come up. So remember to skip this cutscene again. Turn back around. Go back into the main os of Arius Nos. Again, hit the cutscene. Skip the cutscene when it comes up. Now, sometimes it looks like your game's about to break, but that's not it. Uh, into this area again, we're going to pick up the key. And then head to the right again. Pop the key down just outside the dome in the main area. And then go into the smaller main area to pick up the small key. Pick it up and interact with this blue door right here. Again, hold the B button, of course, to get your Slenderman invisible arm out. That'll open up the way, especially for us. So grab the key again. Drop it just in the sort of main section right here. And we are now, once again, just going to go ahead and grab that key. Wherever it may be, I am the lord of the key, said he. Right, so drop back in. And then we're going to build a bridge just in the blue area. With that, we can now head over the bridge, and that'll be the first level complete. And if you've managed to do it in under 4 minutes and 10 seconds, you will get the earlier dates achievement, as well as the maquette. So, good on you, folks. You got it. Okay, okay, and on to the gateways we go. So first of all, turn to the left again. We're not, and uh, if we have a look in here, we're gonna grab the red crystal with the X button. If you move in slowly like I am, just that's because I accidentally pressed the B button, so hit the X one. Go across to the other side and then press the B button and use it against the crystal. Again, we're going for a missable achievement, so don't worry about the speed run and making mistakes. We're gonna do that, uh, we will do that later on. Um, so, of course, like I said, we're just going for a miscellaneous achievement, so no panicking about the speed run. So, head into the red house, put the red crystal down here, and go straight to the right and outside, to the right and up the steps. And then we're going to hit this lever, and the blue crystal's going to come down. It's really blue crystal balls. Once you've got that then, uh, the same place where we went earlier, just make sure to drop this just outside. There we go, that's dropped, lovely. Pick up the red crystal and head out straight in front of us again to the dome. We're going to leave this just outside of the dome, the red crystal. And then what we'll do is go all the way to the sort of red part. There we go, or sort of the main part, that's what we're looking for. There it is, so the red crystal, make sure to grab that. And then we're going to put that in the blue house just to the ramp. So the blue ramp right here, make sure that you will press the B button twice here and that'll get that falling down. Then we're going to go ahead and pick up the blue crystal, which should be to the right of the blue house. There it is. Once we've got that, then we can now head, well, behind us, go through to the blue house, uh, go through here, but then drop back. That's going to get the red crystal falling down. Grab the red one and go through the red part. Of course, obviously, you need the specific color part. Hit the cutscene. Or skip the cutscene, hit the lever, it's going to open up the door. What you're going to do is drop the red crystal just outside in the sort of main hub area. We'll call it the main hub. Pick the green crystal up as well, and you're going to do the same just to the next to the red crystal. Pop that one down as well. Go into the maquette, and then what we're going to do is grab the red crystal first, and then onto the green house, which should be directly in front of us. Just put it in the sort of top balcony. There it is, that's looking mighty posh. I'd like a house like that. Go back and grab the small green crystal from the maquette and then just press the B button to hover it over it. That'll get the green button, uh, the green crystal gone. Make sure to pick up the green crystal again and then simply head for the greenhouse. The greenhouse of life. 
So head through, what we're going to do is pop this green crystal just outside through the gates or through the fence right there, picking up the red crystal. And then what we're going to do, we're going to drop the red right here, grab this key and then just continue straight forward. You're actually going to pop this key out of this window as well. So boop doop. Yeah, Call of Duty style, popping stuff and yeah, hiding because you're a coward. So pick up the red crystal, interact with the lever, that'll help us get outside. Head to the left. Then what we can do is actually just drop the crystal anywhere right here, that's fine. Just to the top of the stairs there then on this planter is the green crystal, so we will nip through. But leave this on the outside in the sort of main hub area, and then what we need to do is uh, go into the maquette. Maquette, Mark Marquette. Uh, pick up the yellow key first. And then what we'll do is, on the yellow house, press the B button and then try and get as close as you can to the door so the key will fit and it'll open the door. That's what doors are normally made for. These doors are made for walking. They'll wank all over you. Oh, goddamn, finally! So, once that's finally done, turn back around, go into the green, small green section, pick up the red crystal, go back to the yellow house, and pop this straight in the side of the yellow house. boop a doop you bet. Right, with that done, make sure to grab the green crystal, the main green crystal from outside, and then head to the yellow house. Don't go up the steps, we'll go to the left of the steps right here. Head inside. And then we can pick up the red crystal, Go straight, interact with the lever, eventually, after the skipping the cutscene, of course. So interact with the lever, and that's going to get us going. What we need to do then is, if we just continue on forward, and then head back a little bit, we need to jump onto this rock, and then jump over the rock again, drop down, and then continue forward until you have put the red crystal and got it touching the other red crystal. And there it is. Oh, right on the old, uh, right on the old bottom bit as well. Oh! That's so nice. So make sure that you have got the red crystal. This is important for the missable achievement or the miscellaneous achievement or whatever. So once you've got the red crystal, head forward, interact with the lever here. If you turn around, there is another lever that we need to push. But it does take me just a few seconds to realize. There it is. <laughs> God damn it, man. So interact with that lever. That'll take us up, up, up and away again. Turn around, head out. Uh, we need to go to the opposite side. Here we goes. Here we goes, look. So head to the right and right again. Head up. Uh, oh, in fact, no, sorry. We're going to the other side towards the dome. Sorry, my apologies. That, that caught me out a couple of times, that. Uh, head through the double doors. Pick up the green crystal. Oh, it's a green crystal kind of day. And then what we'll do now is head out. We're going to go up. We're going to make a jump now once again across the rocks of life. I'm flying high across the rocks of life. Now we actually need to go into the greenhouse. So for some reason this absolutely confused the crap out of me, even though it was directly in front of where we dropped down. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Not good. So yeah, just continue forward for the time being. And then rather than go up the steps, if you go to the left, you can see this little shed. It's got a whole bunch of cat pictures in it. Ah, uh, man, I, I'm telling you what, nobody loves cats that much. Oh, there's dogs in that as well, but... Uh, sorry, but uh, cats? Nah, not for me, bruh. Anyway, that's the Crew Creatures achievement unlocked. So now we can... Well, we could, we'll do the chapter again. So go to chapters, go to the gateways. Now, uh, hilariously enough, that achievement is there, and we're actually we're actually quite close to the end of the level. But now, with every run that I'd done, I had about forty or fifty seconds left. So that's why we always restart the level because it will take you off, and you'll yeah, it just won't unlock anyway. So, right, let's go again. Speed run time. Come on, get your jogging shoes on, Sonic. <clears throat> Sonic doesn't sound like that. Right, so let's grab the red crystal. And then we go to the forefront, towards the dome. Again, press the B button to whap the crystal, or above the crystal. Check your crystal balls out. And then what we can do is head to the left and basically continue straight. So we're going to go into the red section. So nothing's changed. We're going to be doing exactly the same as we've done last time. So hopefully you've got a bit of a uh, bit more knowledge of what to expect and what to do. 
Drop the red crystal, head up and grab the blue crystal. And if you remember, drop down and put it out in the garden or the sort of back garden area. So pick up the red crystal again and head out. Not that way. If you continue straight, there we go. Well done, clumsy balls. Uh, leave the red crystal there. And then if we head up into the main sort of um, maquette section, we're going to grab the red crystal again. Look for the blue house, of course. There it is. And put it just on the ramp again. Ramp it, baby. Ramp it. And then what we'll do is head to the sort of backer area, grab the blue crystal, and then head through the blue door. Here it is to the right of us. For some reason in the speed run, I'm getting more flustered with this one. Uh, wait till the red crystal drops down, drop the blue, grab the red. Uh, interact with the lever after skipping the cutscene. Kachow! Come in! Here we go. Again, uh, drop the red crystal here in the main area. Go back, grab the green crystal. That's a chunky boy. I bet that's worth a couple of bobs. And drop that one as well. Continue forward. And then what we'll do is grab the red crystal first. Look for the green house in front of us. And then put that on the top of the balcony again. Then, of course, go back, grab the green diamond encrusted jewel. Uh, press the B button to get in. And then make sure to pick it up. Make sure it's in your possession. And then we can head through to the greenhouse, up again. Um, we're going to pop this through the fence once again. And then, of course, we will grab the red one and continue forward. Just like last time, then, we'll drop the red crystal at the sort of top of the stairs. Oh, no! All right, we'll try that again. There we go. And then <laughs> grab the key and go through and smash it outside. Boom. Boom, shaka laka. Right, grab the red crystal, drop down, head down the stairs, interact with the lever to get outside. Go to the left, and we're going to drop it anywhere here. Go up these little bit of planters to grab the green crystal again. Turn around, and we're going to leave it in the sort of main area here. Go forward into the maquette, grab the key, find the yellow house. And then again, remember, press the B button and try and get as close to the door as you can. Again, I do apologize. Because of the speed run, we do have to go quick. But put me down to seven, slow 7.5 if you want. Uh, find this small greenhouse, grab the red crystal, and pop that in the side. The old, uh... Oh, yeah. Come in. I got spear on achievements to get, damn it. And then go and grab the green crystal again from in front of the greenhouse, and then go towards the yellow house. Oh, it looks a spooky. Oh, and a pooky. Right, head inside, and drop the green crystal, grab the red. Uh, turn around. Interact with the lever. Now we're going to open the doors. Now what you need to do is just walk towards the dome until the scene changes like this. Once that's done, head back up the stairs we came. And now we can jump across the rock. Sometimes the jumping can be a bit weird and a bit finicky. But there's always a way back up if that does happen. So don't panic too much. Head down to the crystal again. What you're going to do this time is interact the diamond with the crystal. But we're going to leave the red ball there this time. So to finish the level, we're going to need to finish and leave that one there. So head up, and we are going to interact with lever one, lever two. All my levers are messed up because I've drunk them all to death. And there we go. We'll head up. Right. Uh, again, took the wrong way again because I'm douchebaggery, of course. Uh, we're going to go to the right and head up. Uh, in fact, see, I've done that again. So we're going to head to the, towards the dome, head up. Grab the gear cog this time, turn around, interact with it on the maquette, and that is the end of the level. So you see how close we were? That's a pain in the ass having to basically do that twice, but sometimes it's worth it. Anyway, if you've done it, this level in under 4 minutes and 35 seconds, you will get the Triumphant Days achievement and the Gateways achievement. Hoorah! So then, this is the next level then, the wedge. This has no miscellaneous achievements, so we're going straight for the speed run. If you want, of course, you can always make a manual save at the beginning of every level, just in case. Otherwise, we'll turn around and head towards the pink house. Now, these levels are quite a bit more chilled. Um, for some reason, the, the later you get on through the game, the, the, the less puzzles that we got to do, weirdly. 
<laughs> but I'm happy with that one. So what we're going to do then, now we are little teeny tiny wiener person. We're just going to continue forward until we hit the big steps at the next pink house. So, because you're a midget, of course, what we need to do, you're a tiny person, head up the rake here. Again, try and be careful, but quick as you can. Turn around and then go up. We'll have to drop down here. Make sure it's on the one with the plant pot at the opposite side. So jump on every plant pot and every stone you see until we get to the top. Lovely jabbly mate. Well done. Right, so continue to the right and we're going to grab, uh, jump up on these books. Go into the next house and grab the tiniest of cutest of bridges. And then basically we're just going to head back the way we came. So drop down the steps and head all the way straight into the dome again. So once you've knackeringly made your way up to the top of the stairs, go straight interact with the lever, and that'll go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Straight in front of us now, we're going to head directly in front of the Pink Panther house again. Hello, and out the other side. Here we are, back in the dome, that's all good. Right, where we're going to pop this bridge is if we jump into the sort of dome area. To the right, as you can see, there is a hole in the fence, so we need to be putting these stairs right next to the hole in the fence. Try and get it as close as you can, because, of course, we need to jump over without wasting too much time. There we go, and if we go directly in front of us, there's our little stairway to heaven. So, with this first house here, go inside, interact with the lever. Now, these cutscenes you can't skip, annoyingly, um, but it shouldn't matter too much. It's only a couple of seconds, you'll be fine. Still opens up a door, uh, creepy, ooh, don't scare me. Then from here, what we can do is if we head to the left, sort of back in the dome area, we need to basically move the ladder again, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so grab the ladder, and then we're going to pop it in the sort of big fenced off area. So try and put it as close as you can to the door, like so, the door in the fenced off area, and then just head to that area, which be fenced off. Well, directly in front of us first, because we're actually going to interact with another lever in this house. Again, tiny little cutscene that we cannot skip, which is a problem. Well, it's no problem, really. Right, now we'll head to the left, and then we're going to head down these set of steps. And now we're going to go straight in front of us to the fenced off area as tiny little wiener person again. So, straight we go. Oh, man. Imagine picking a fight with a piece of grass. Oh, yeah. Right up the steps, anyway. <laughs> grass kick my ass, gracias. Turn to the left, and what we're going to do is climb up these set of pipes after the cutscene. So, again, skip the cutscene there. Climb up this pipe, climb to the one to the right of you, and then up the chair, and then you can press the X button on the lever. That'll go. Psh, and again, we'll skip the cutscene. So, hold that. Ba 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 ba. Or that sus a circle button. Right, drop down, and then we can just pretty much continue straight on. So we'll drop down, continue straight out of here until we get back to the dome. Right, continue going straight. For some reason, I decided to go up these left, uh, these right-hand side set of steps, but we've got those small steps to go up. So uh, don't do what I do here. Oh, I mean, it literally just adds a, a second or two onto it. But we need to be going straight and then straight back up these steps. So my bad. My bad, dog. So straight in front of us then. Let's get, we're just getting out of this little area. And then what we'll do is we are going to grab that ladder from the fenced off area. And then we're going to put it uh, anywhere in the sort of main hub section or the main section. Try and get it as close as as you can, obviously, the, the less time you've got to go somewhere, the, the better and quicker it is. Pick up these set of middle-aged stairs with a Ferrari. Now, put it in this particular corner. What you need to do is turn the ladder around. Sometimes it might be a bit finicky because you're too close to stuff. So, turn it around and put it uh, sort of as close as you can there. 
And as you can see, that's where the next set of ladders is. So straight in front of us is a lever. We'll drop down, elevator it down, and now we can actually climb up the set of... And up and down, boink. So this is the uh, locked area. So if we go to the back left of this house right here, there will be a, a lever on the wall. That'll put the fence down. And that will open up another door as well. So cheers, ghost buddy. Uh, then go straight, in front <laughs> go straight in front of us again. And then what we're going to do is grab the uh, middle-aged ladder. And we're going to put this to the house on the right, the yellow house, without no stairs. But make sure that it is on, on the right-hand side. That is how it should be looking. Uh, just make sure that the uh, sort of spindle or whatever at the top is close to the doorway so we can jump in. Head to the house in the back and then interact with the lever. That will get this next little scene going. And then we'll turn around from here, go to the left. We're going to drop, well, not drop down, but we're going to go down these set of steps again. And we're going to head for that house with the stairs. Dun dun. So what we need to do then is obviously climb up the stairs, because of course that's why we've done it. We need to drop down, but make sure it's on the sort of uh, shelf right there. Then we need to climb up the steps using the uh, the things. What are, what are these called? The upper slider things. So turn to the right, and then not in this particular room, but carry on going. And then to the left, again, skip the cutscene as well. And then you're going to see a mouse trap with a key on it, so grab the key. What are they bloody called now? The stair, stair railings, right? Stair uppers. Yeah, that'll do. So uh, we can now just drop down and head towards the dome once again. But once we get here, let's turn to the right. Turn to the right! There we go. You can see the door. This is going to open up the cathedral. We are coming up to the end of the level now, so thank God. Press the B button, of course, to hold it out with your invisible slender penis. Uh, arm, sorry. Arm like a penis. So once that opens up, you're going to go into the cathedral and then skip the cutscene. It's important that you do that, so go in, skip the cutscene again, and then we can just turn back around. Last thing that we need to do then is grab the ladder and head into the, the cathedral, but the mm, tiny cathedral. So, uh, look for the ladder. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Next to the yellow house, of course. And then what you need to do is just put this down right there, so it's sort of in the middle. I mean, you could, I could have brought it a little bit closer to me, but, you know, it's all good. Grab the middle set of ladders, go back into the maquette, and now we're just going to pop this... Uh, sort of as close as you can to the bell at the top. Doesn't matter if it's flat or if it's a bit bumpy like that. Just as long as you can reach the bell at the top. Press the X button. End this level. And again, hopefully you've done that in under uh, 9 minutes and 50 seconds. Because that is how you'll get the getting it over with achievement and the wedge achievement as well. So, on to the escape. That's how the French say escape, right? The escape. And, uh... And the Dutch... I'm sure the Dutch... I'm sure the escape in Dutch probably has an incredible... Incredible, um... Uh... What's it, you know? Bleh. Anyway, shut up, let's go. Shut up to myself. Right, so this level then is... Again, it's kind of like the garden. It's a very sort of linear path. Uh, it's only going to take about four minutes to complete, so we'll just continue on. No no puzzles in this one, we've just got to grab a red crystal in a bit and go through some walls. So for now, all we're doing is basically following the only path that we can.
it was all fun and games first, wasn't it? But we must pay a little bit more attention. So press the B button here to skip the cutscene, go in front of us. And just behind this fallen something, fallen clock, is the red crystal we need. So you can see like what look like sticky notes on the floor or something. They, that's the path we need to follow, but sometimes they disappear. So I'll just tell you where to go, it's easier. So, turn to the left. Take it back now, y'all. What happened I say that every time, don't I? Sorry. So go to the left, and then we're just going to uh, continue heading up this little path of Satan. We're going to drop down, and we're going to go through the gap, and then happily continue onwards. And eventually, right at the end, we're going to have to take a left into like a little... Uh, well, when I say left, what I meant is take a right, and then there's going to be a gap right there. So in the wall, just effectively straight in front of you, there should have been a little gap which you can go through. But it can be hard to tell sometimes. Go back on yourself there. That one tripped me up twice. And then as we get to the end, we're going to turn to the left. Now the last bit also tripped me up as well. Um, but I will show you where. It's basically, as we drop down, there's going to be a gap on this wall. Not this one, but just coming up. As we turn to the right, this is where it is then. So it's not here if we... The, the, what I do, if you're having trouble trying to find it, just go up and down the wall uh, with the red crystal. And eventually, as you can see, there it was. The gap was there. Continue up, and we will finish the level when we get to the end. And then, again, if you've done it in under 4 minutes and 20, you'll get the escape and stressing escape achievement. And then it's just two levels left. Two levels left. Two levels left now. Heavy metal stuff. Yep. Right, so first things first, we're going to get a miscellaneous achievement. So for now, all we're going to be doing is following the uh, very linear path. You cannot get lost this time. Swear down, bruh. When we get to the cliff's edge, we're going to do an Assassin's Creed style hay jump, except there's no hay, it's just all darkness. So jump straight off. You are going to not die, but you are going to get the Into the Darkness. I believe in a thing called love. Uh, achievement. So now we can actually just restart the... Obviously because we are going for the speed run now, of course, we need to be restarting the level and going again. So once we start, just go straight through to the cliff's edge, but don't jump off and die this time. It'll be handy. This time we shall take a right. A lot of walking in this one, not many puzzles, a lot of walking. So just continue on and eventually we're going to uh, come across a bridge that we're going to cross. Oh, it's a long walk with no food and drink, but interact with the lever. It's making me hungry and thirsty anyway. I just continue on the bridge that we have just bridged up our bridge. Go ahead and interact with the next lever directly in front of us. There it is. Turn to the right. That is where the bridge is going. So once again, follow, follow, follow. I couldn't deny any longer. I liked the wiener in my butt. Ah, uh, <laughs> we have to. Hey, no. 
Anyway, once we get here then, interact with the small um, little bridge and then you're going to use it to build the sort of fix this part of the bridge. Then we can jump up onto the stones and interact with the tiny switch. There it is, just on here, there it is. So once you've done that then, the, the little bridge should automatically go into place by the way. So we're going to head back down and then we are going to take a right onto the newly formed unbroken fixable fridge. I meant bridge. Fixable fridge. What the hell am I on about? Anyway, once we get up here, we're just going to continue straight on until we get to the inside of the DEATH MANSION. I mean, it could be a death mansion. It looks like a death mansion. So continue on and obviously head to the left. Again, a lot of this level is just rather linear. And then we're going to take a right. And then when we get into the next room, take another right into this room. So with these three um, pieces of whatever, we need to be making like a Z shape. So kind of get it um, sort of at an angle, like so. So grab two, uh, put them at an angle, the same angle at the top and then at the bottom. Of course, have a look at the uh, sort of shade at the bottom to help you, to guide you. And then, again, we're trying to make a Z shape of sorts. So with this third one, these need to be going on top on like a Z shape. So roughly about there. And then you should be good to go. So if we go into the next room there, you can see that is what we have built. Um, now, I did just about get away with this one in terms of not wasting too much time. So, yeah... So eventually, you should <laughs> enough jump in and you'll jump up there. The Once we're up, we can now go to the left. Oh, it's getting spookier. Past the big key on the floor and into the next room or the next area. So grab the key out of the first pit. And what you need to do is turn it so that the big part of the key is on the floor and you need to make a ramp. So right here is where you'll make the ramp. Try and get it sort of as close to the edge as you can with the big part at the bottom. That is how you will climb up. If you do it the other way, you can't climb up. It's simple. So head around to the left. Once you are up, can get kind of dark. And when I say it can get kind of dark, it is kind of dark. So grab this next key anyway from the pit of existence. From the armpit of America, which is dot, dot, dot. I'll let you lot fight that out. Go back into the next room. And then now we can uh, I'll let all you Americans figure out which, uh, which, uh, which, county is the armpit or which state is the armpit of America so yeah uh, head straight through <laughs> anyway <laughs> I'm not getting involved in any damn arguments I leave it all up to you uh, a lot of um, funny looking white powder on the floor there we'll just nip past that and head straight into the next room small puzzle to do and then we'll be coming up to the end so head to the left grab this puzzle block uh, so what you need to do is kind of play a little game of Tetris. So press the B button, of course, to get it out. And then um, make sure that it is in the bottom left corner, looking up like that. And then on the right-hand side, there is another one. So again, press the B button to extend your length. <laughs> and then you need to be putting it so it is at basically at the top of this next part. There we go. So it is just behind that house. So that is what it should be both looking like. Sorry, my explanations are terrible. Now, be careful here. Uh, there's a lot of gaps that you need to jump over. So, just head through to the back. There's going to be a gap here. So, jump. There it is. Another gap on the left. So, jump a -roo. And we're going to drop down, but make sure not to go straight through to the holes. Because uh, you don't want to be swallowed whole by a big old hole. Drop down again. Once you are closer to the crystal, level will end. And we've got one more delicious level left to deliciousize. And again, if you've done that in under 6 minutes and 40 seconds, you will get the writing the spiral achievement and the spiral. Again, most of my times, a lot of it was sort of about with 30 or 40 seconds to go. So, it can be tight, but you can make one mistake here and there. So, on to the exchange. It's not the best exchange I've ever heard, but still. So we're going to go for a missable achievement first. So again, don't worry about the speed run. Just get used to this level. So we pick up the dome, put it to the stairs on the left. And we can drop down, head up the stairs, head to the right, up the stairs. 
And then we're going to head to the right again, and we're going to interact with a lever. So drop that one down, and then we can just go straight in front of us and drop straight down again. Now, the dome, how the dome looks is basically depending on how you just put it down. So I put it at an angle. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you can get back in. Grab the dome and put it to the left-hand side tower. There we go. Now, this is a bit of a timed section now, so you've got to interact with the owl. Once you interact with this next lever, you've got to go and stop for nothing and no one. So press the X lever and then go. Head straight for the dome. Again, it's a shame that you can't sprint. You can only lightly jog. When we get here, you're going to pick up the mini dome and then put it uh, next to the tower directly in front of us. So pick up this dome and put it as far as quick as you can. Drop it. Head to the tower on the right. And if you get in without the doors being closed, you will get the run, move, run achievement. If you didn't manage to get there in time you will just have to restart the chapter and try it again but um yes that is a timed achievement so hopefully you got it first time again if not just go to check press start go to chapters select the exchange and just try again otherwise now we are going to do the final level get the final three achievements and breathe a sigh of relief that once again we've got another 1k by the awesome Annapurna Interactive god I love them so, pick up the dome and put it next to the main staircase there on the left. And then again, we're just going to head up, head to the right and interact with the lever. And again, just drop down straight in front of us and head back to Domer Simpson. Domer. There we go. And just like earlier then, we're going to pick up the dome. We're going to pick it up and put it to the left tower right there. There we go. So we can drop down. We're going to interact with the owl again. Hoot, hoot, mother. And now it's still a time section, so you still have to do this like earlier. So interact with the lever and then immediately break forward. Now, you don't have to do it for the achievement, but of course, we're still going for the speed run. So just remember that. I failed the first time, so I had to restart the chapter. So pick it up. Put it again as close as you can to the tower and then just drop it down and hopefully you'll get there within the time frame and the doors won't close. Interact with the blue diamond and yeah, some more writing on the wall. Ghost stuff will appear. And then we've got just two mini puzzles to do. So yeah, like I said, I done it. I got the achievement the first time. The doors closed on me the second time. So rather than just messing around, I just restarted the chapter. Better to be safe than sorry. Right, head towards the dome. And then interact with this first tiny pillar. So what we're going to do then, we need to do it in a sort of particular order. So first one's going to be butterfly at the bottom. And then it's going to be the um, plus symbol. So butterfly plus and then person. And then it's going to be diamond. And then it is going to be, uh, well, if you just keep pressing the X button, it'll work. So that's what you do with them. Now we can just turn directly around and we're going to do the second puzzle. So again, starting off with the bottom, it is going to be the um, person first. Second one from the bottom is going to be the red X. Third is going to be the plus sign. Fourth one is going to be the diamond. And then just keep spamming the X button there with the butterfly at the top. And that will open up the doors for us. We're not getting timed this time, which is timingly lovely. So time a lot. So what we'll do is head directly forward into the tower in front of us. And then there's a bell in there, which we're going to interact with. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch, the wicked witch. So, a bunch of rocks appear out of nowhere. So, let's go ahead and get it. So, what we need to do now is actually put the mini dome on top of one of the rocks. Well, the rock right next to it. So, pick up the dome. Pop it on this rock right here. Again, press the B button, of course, to drop it when you think it's good. There we go. Turn to the right, and you should be able to see this tower with a bunch of little butterflies. Pretty little butterflies. Definitely not radioactive or anything. Uh, head up, and then go up the stairs, and then interact with the book. And then, again, just skip the cutscene. Head forward, and head towards the doma again. And then what we'll need to do is grab the dome, put it next to the main staircase, so the one directly in front of you, the one that we started on. Head up, 
And this is basically the end of the game now, so yes! Head up to the right, the game, there it is, the big fat chunky crystal, that's what we're after. Head to the left, and ta-da! End of the game, job done, you should now get the conclusion, the exchange, and boosting the pillars achievement. And then if you have a look, you should now be on all 22 out of 22 achievements done. So, there we go then, guys and gals, that's another awesome Annapurna, uh, Annapurna Interactive published game done, another Game Pass game done. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the game, I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, legends of the highest order. Thank you so much once again, guys and gals, I'll see you in the next one. Big ol' nut butter peanut butter love.